Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is the PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the SQL like condition. So we've already um, established a connection to our database, we can just include this file in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a database with a few names in, the, uh, in, in a table. So we're going to create a table, sorry. We've already got our database called a database. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a table called names and this is going to have two fields uh, we're going to create a standard ID field um, as we've already looked at so we're going to have an ID field and we're going to have a name field now the ID field is obviously going to be of type int because it's a it's going to be an auto increment integer so we need to select auto increment this just ensures that every time we insert a value uh, a record um, this value is incremented and we're going to create the index as primary because this is a unique uh, field so the name can be a varchar 40 depending on the name length, uh, this is just for example purposes so uh, I'd probably recommend something smaller. However uh, we'll just do this for this uh, tutorial. Let's go down and click save. Okay so our table's been created, you can see it here and you can see the structure of our table here. Let's go ahead and insert some names, so I'm going to insert Alex Garrett and down here I'm going to uncheck ignore and I'm going to uh, type let's say Alex Malcolm. Let's go down and click go. Okay, let's insert a couple more records. So let's say Dale Garrett and we'll say Billy Garrett as well. So all we're doing really is we're, we're inserting a few bits of dummy data so we can test this um, SQL like condition. Now let me just talk a bit about the like condition. The like condition um, can be used on its own as like or it, we, it can be used not to like. So we can search either for where something is like something or where is something is not like something. And we can also use a wildcard. So if for example we were to search um, um, in this table here that we've created for Alex and we had a wildcard um, on the uh, right hand side this would return all values um, all values that started with or, or had the beginning text of Alex so you'll see you'll see how it works a bit later on for example if we had um, Malcolm and the wildcard was on the left hand side you'd see it would it would um, it would uh, bring back anything with um, text on one side and uh, Malcolm on uh, this side. So we can use the wildcard on either side as well to return an exact value. Um, well, no, not an exact value, but for example, if we were to search for X space G uh, and the wildcard was on either side, we're searching within um, our string as a whole. So X and G would return um, this result. For example, if we were just searching for G, it would return this result, this result, and this result because there's no G in Alex Malcolm, but there is a G existing in all of these. So the most common one when we're searching uh, fields would be to use a wildcard at either side. We can also use an underscore to search for a specific character. So for example, if we were to say it's like Alex and then underscore a R R E T T, it would search for all the t every um, record with A L E X space, then any character then A R R E T T. But I'll be demonstrating this uh, within um, MySQL or PHP MyAdmin. Sorry. So let's go ahead and create an SQL statement for this, um, or a query rather. So I'm going to say select um, name from names where and we need to pick a, um, a field so this is going to be uh, obviously name where name like and then inside our uh, single quotation marks we can put our wildcard in or our underscore whatever we wish to do so for now I'm just going to say um, wildcard um, Garrett for example okay so let's copy and paste this so we can use it again I'm going to click go and see what we return so we've got every um, record where uh, the surname essentially equals Garrett because our wildcard was on the left, so any text here and the word Garrett on the right hand side. So let's go back and uh, let's change this around. So let's put the wildcard now on this side. Now this isn't going to return any values because Garrett is at the end of every, um, every field. 